So now we're going to do a classic called All Blues. Because I don't know about you guys, but this has been a time for all blues. You lie? Oh. No. No, that's a whole nother time. And I it's know. And it's blue. I know. <laughs> but um, we hope that this performance that we're sharing with you mm. um, online, but we hope that it will clear out some of your blues and remind you that music is still live, it's still universal, and it still cures the restless heart. So let's give them all blue.
But you know what I have realized in getting ready for this concert, uh, this performance in particular, is how much it has affected me in my spirit not to be preparing for gigs. Um, and so I have to work up the um, discipline now to really continue to hone my craft when I don't know when the next gig is going to come. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Because yeah. my, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, my instrument is here. That's all I got. And if I don't use it, then um, I can tell the difference. Yeah, you bring up a very good point because you'll be able to hear it in my play in the day. When we were gigging and doing at least two or three gigs a month, my chops were better. And all the mistakes I made tonight, I probably would not have made pre-COVID, you know, because I was on the horn. And I was practicing, and I was writing, and I was doing all these things. Now, though, um, you know, I spend a lot of my time, the majority of my time, actually on the business part. So practicing suffers. But then you can tell when I'm on a gig like this, you know. So. I said earlier that we lost a giant this week. I don't think we understand yet the magnitude of that loss. And I think our community needs to take particular attention, pay particular attention to what's going to happen next because that life, that hard-fought life of that tiny woman mattered in a huge way to all of us who are women and all of us who are black and people of color. So I wanted to sing this song for her and to wish her peace on her journey and her well-deserved rest. Skylark, have you anything to say to me? Can you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the Where someone's waiting to be kissed, oh, Skylark, have you seen a valley green?
but my heart is flying on your wings. So if you see them anywhere, won't you lead me there? Man, sex.
all stay with me. When I was a little girl, I used to hear my grandmother sometimes late at night, right before Sunday morning, sun started to come up. And she'd be praying and then I'd hear her do something, something like this. I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. She'd say, bass guitar, Mr. Jackson Gerard Benson. Guitar, a brother from another mother, from somewhere in the Midwest, Mr. Van Sachs. in North Carolina, wherever the hell that is, on alto and tenor saxophone and soprano, show your love for Mr. Carl Ratliff. He ain't got to play nothing, he been playing all day. <laughs> From Charleston, South Carolina, keeping that heartbeat going, Mr. Thomas Green on drums. You want some, baby? Take a little bit. Show your love for my love, Miss Tony Tuppence. My name is. My name is Nzinga Umbebuk Mama Dion, but y'all can call me Tyrone. 
And we are a sign of the times. We enjoyed this. This was fun. Okay, you're going to take it out? Yeah. Sometimes you need your dark shades for the blues. Here we go, here we go. Had an old man. Next time. Stay tuned. Out there on Broadway.